All right, as much as I love mistakes, let's try to not make any this time, okay? Man, I really wish we were sitting in class. You could have caught that for me sooner, probably. All right, we saved the best story problem for last. Melanie and Brad each drink 10 cups of water every day. Man, that Melanie, she is awesome. Laura drinks three quarts of water every day. Oh man, we have cups and quarts again. Same colors. We have cups. Melanie and Brad are drinking 10 cups of water every day. Laura is three quarts, so don't think that she's doing less. She has three whole windows. That's a lot. Laura drinks three quarts of water every day. How many gallons? Oh my goodness. Different measurements. Green is gallons. How many gallons of water do the three of them drink all together each week? All of these were given in days. So all together means we'll add each week. We're going to have to find their amount and times it by seven because those are just by day. Woo! Lots of steps here. Okay. Step number one. I would find out um, Melanie and Brad. It was really easy for me to write that name. I wonder why. Melanie and Brad. They drink 10 cups of water every day. So we're going to find out Melanie and Brad. She drinks 10. He drinks 10 every day. So how many does she drink in a week? And how many does he drink in a week? 70 and 70. So together, Melanie and Brad drink 140 cups a week. That's important. That was step one. Step two, I would find Laura. Laura is three quarts of water. Let's make sure that we know it's QT. Three quarts every day. So how many does she do in a week? 21 quarts. Ta-da! In a week. How many gallons of water do the three of them drink all together each week? So I've already figured out the week stuff. That is now taken care of. But I need to know all of this in gallons. So I can convert this one to gallons and this one to gallons and then add them together. So step three is to convert. I guess we better write convert both. We're converting both. So we're gonna do 140 cups is how many gallons? Everyone ready? And we're gonna also convert 21 quarts into gallons as well. So we're gonna convert both of those. Cups into gallons, something small into something large. So Stella likes donuts. I will divide. The connecting number between cups and gallons, you'll have to look back at your gallon house. How many cups were in a gallon? 16 cups, or you could count each one of them if you want. 16 cups were in a gallon. So I'm dividing 140 by 16. Okay, let's do that. 140 divided by 16. If you remember, a while ago we did 16 times 9, I think, and it was 144. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure that was the number. Yeah, this one, remember? 144 divided by 16 was 9. So it can't be 9. So I might as well try 8 over here. 16 times 8. 8 times 6 is 48. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12. 128. But I can't get more. So it is 8, and I have to do normal division and subtraction. So I have 8 and 12 sixteenths. Well, guess what, friends? You can't leave 12 sixteenths like that. So I know it's 8, but I have to simplify 12 sixteenths. I can do that by dividing each one by 4, and I'll get 3 fourths. So it's 8 and three-fourths gallons. That's how much Melanie and Brad drink together in the week. Now let's go find out how much Laura drink. Quarts into gallons. 
something small again into something large, so I am dividing. Windows into gallons. How many quarts are in a gallon? Four. We should just know that. Four. So I divide 21 by four. Looks like this. 21 divided by four. Four goes into 21 five times with one left over. So you make that a fraction. Five and one fourth. Am I done yet? No. <laughs> Step four. After I found Melanie and Brad, I found Laura. Then I did both conversions. And step four is to add the gallons together. Add gallons together. Five and a fourth and eight and three fourths. Oh, will you look at that. They have the same denominator. That's so lucky. Eight and three fourths. Five and one fourth. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. Three fourths plus one fourth is four fourths, or a whole, right? But I'll just write four fourths. Eight plus five is 13. And what is 13 and four fourths? 14. My final answer in gallons, that's why it's green, is 14. So I'm going to put that in a final sentence down here. It says, how many gallons of water do the three of them drink all together? The three of them drink... Fourteen gallons all together each week. Running out of space, sorry. That is my final answer. I'm going to put it in a cloud in green. It's pretty great. But I, I do want to go through and circle, like there's a lot going on here. So I think it would be important to go through and maybe we could put in a box what was happening. Step one, step two, step three, or step four down here. Step four. Okay. Wow. That was a lot of work to do. But we did it and you are now done with math lesson 8.11. So you can throw all those scraps away. You do need to get on to Think Central today and to complete the activity on the things to do for 8.11. And then you need to find homework and remembering in the new papers that I gave you and complete that, both sides, 8.11. Remember, you don't have to do stretch your thinking anymore the rest of the year for all of fifth grade. So enjoy that. Don't ask me if you have to do stretch your thinking because if you do ask, it means you didn't listen to the video, and then I will make you do it. So, those of you who are listening, no more stretcher thinkings the rest of this year. Good job hanging in there today, you guys. I hope you liked learning about the gallon house. Um, I Hopefully you learned a little bit about it's okay to make that, those mistakes if you make those mistakes, but just to go back and check. Use the real math to check because that's what it's there for. We have the visual to help those visual learners, and we have um, the other method using our real division in math to help the people who occurred with numbers. So use the best skills you have to finish all of your assignments today. Good luck to you. I love and miss you and I'll talk to you later.